Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on the background series. So I thought about what we would add like today. I came up with the idea to add like the characters or some characters being like all the axes and some being like you yeah, locked. So yeah, we'll do all the axis characters today I think. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, I guess. So let me see if I got the, yeah, okay, I got the correct version here. Okay, so let's start on this. Also, some people ask me about the, the, where is it? The icon here since it kind of like yeah duplicates if you die so we are going to fix this i think also so let's see why we can fix this Uh, it needs to be like some UI here. Your origin, I think. Let me just see what it's named. Okay, well, I don't know how to fix it. I will research it though, so we can fix it in the next episode. But yeah, for now we can switch to any character we like. And yeah, I'm gonna make the duelist character be the locked character for now. So... Yeah, we want to put a in the icon and put the dualist character below the salt master character so we kind of have like the you know like the setup that the all the extra characters always at the bottom and yeah some people also ask me to well, how you would add, like, images to the characters. And I think there is a very easy way. Let me just get up the documentation. And then I can... I think it's just colon set image, but I'm not sure. Yeah, set image. So what you want to do is you just want to go here and type colon set image and then just put your image ID here and yeah that's that's pretty much it okay so then we are going to to let me see so we want to add something in every character and we do do list dot on early access make this true and copy this and paste it into every other character okay salt master false and paste. Okay, so then in the local script here, change character when we fire this. Here, change character, it's giving us a character, then we get the character info. And in the character info, we get the table, I think. And then what I'm going to do is if character info dot is on. Early access 
is it? Okay, just on the early access. On the early access. So you to true then if marketplace service call user on screen pass is sync user ID or like player user ID my comedy game pass ID so I'm just going to put some random game pass ID I own so I'm owning this game pass ID so yeah and if it is then we want to I want to do if not and then we want to return oh uh, then we want to not only return but do marketplace service called prompt game pass purchase or just a prompt game pass purchase and then the player and then the same game pass ID you can alternatively just do local game pass ID and just put the game pass ID in here it's easier this way so now when I go in here and I click on the dual list you can see that I changed to it since I own the game pass but now let me change it to something that I don't own so you can see how this will look so let me copy the ID and then let me paste it here publish and then let's see so now when we have this character to switch to it okay, it still works so there is probably a error in the table. I think because we don't implement it in the character module get character info. Yes, that's the problem. So you want to do on early access is equal to false. And then what we want to do is we want to go down here. And then just put we do local is on the only axis we do this to character module dot and then of course the on the only axis and then what we want to do is we want to do character info dot on the LD axis is equal to character module or we can just say is on the axis yeah pretty much this great so now let's try this out and now when I click it it wants me to yeah, purchase the game pass. And yeah, this kind of works then. Great. And if I were to purchase it, then I could switch the character. So this is good. And yeah, so then we can get some preparations, I think, for the cutscenes handler. Since we want to create a rig for this, for the camera, of course. So we want to go to Rig Builder and then build an R6 block avatar. And then we want to remove everything except the torso and the human parts out of this. Just have the torso and the human group part. You can remove the animates, you can remove the butter body colors, you just need the humor, the human group part and the torso. Then this is the humanoid camera rig. And we can put this yeah we can try to 
just click on it and as you can see it's pretty much working we can have our own animation and we can pretty much play it I go here and I just rotate it I can play the animation so we can still animate this since it has a humanoid and that's how exactly how we will do camera movements and maybe after this one I want the camera to go like in front they will look like this we can change the easing style somewhere here can we? I don't know if we can I don't think so okay and then after this maybe I want to make the camera face up and then move forward and then here I want to kind of go around maybe and then move back in the direction then move back, I don't know just random animations and as you can see this will work and now we are going to get a decal in here And this is the decal, so this is the front. I'm gonna make the texture to I don't know. Let me just add a image label. Let me copy the image. And then let me paste it in the decal. And now we can see that we have this image texture here. So we can see where the front is. So this is the front and yeah, it just looks at this and then we can add a string value inside here and call this cam part put the value to cam part as well and now when we go to plugins and we click on the part and then I have this sneak camera locker and I can play the animation and now I can see how this would look like. Yeah, of course, nothing crazy. It's utterly bad, but yeah, you can just get an imagination of how this will would look like then. So yeah, I'm not going to save the animation to get off. I'm just click off. And now I'm going to move this rig in the replicate storage. And yeah, so this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.